everybody. Welcome in to the 2019 National Collegiate Roller Hockey Championships presented by Mission Hockey and Bauer Hockey. Final three games of the night about to face off here on the Bauer rink. Been going strong since 7 o'clock this morning. But we will persevere and triumph in the end. This is a Division II matchup between Stony Brook and Cal Poly. Both teams have completed their warm-ups and are getting their final instructions from their coaches. While I'm on the air for the final time, I want to wish one of our uh, referees a uh, very special message from uh, me to him. Happy birthday, Brett Kotcher. It is your birthday. And I told you I'd mention it every chance I would get. In for Cal Poly is Nicholas LeCox. And for Stony Brook, it is Rory Buckley. So the faceoff just about to happen. Back out at center. We're almost ready to go. Just got to get the Time is not on the clock, so puck continues as play as the clock is now up and running. Cal Poly with possession. Send it back into his own zone. With it is Joe Blakewell. Blakewell being pressured out in front by the 22 of Nicholas Schlegel. Now Cal Poly working up with it is Jake Stom. Stom up to Waddell. Waddell now working in on net. We'll send the puck in through the crease and a shot and a goal scored by Cal Poly. 11.29 to go here in the first early start for Cal Poly. It is now 1-0 in this Division II pool play matchup. So the faceoff. Moving back out to center. Here early in this contest. Coming up next, Cal State Fullerton will be taking on Westchester. And the final game of the evening over here on the Bauer Rink, it will feature Florida State taking on Western Michigan to wrap up the day right here on Bauer. Off the faceoff, it is controlled by Stony Brook. Stony Brook with possession. It is Sean Germain. Germain coming into the Cal Poly end as the puck is poked out to center. Now picked up by Cal Poly. Working back in. Here is John Leone. Leone will send it back. Controlling it is Jake Pavic. Pavic will send it back to Leon. As Leon now starting to work up and will send it across to Sam Blakewell. Blakewell now circling back. Cal Poly are the Mustangs. Stony Brook, the Sea Wolves. Now working back. Here is Pavic. Pavic. Now being battled for. Ten minutes to go here in the first. One nothing is your score. Now here comes the, the Sea Wolves. Send it back around. Nicholas LeCox. Now with it is Wally for Stony Brook. Wally poked off the puck. Now picked up and is sent up into the left wing side dashers as Wally taken into the boards as a puck is being battled for right past the Cal Poly bench. Controlled now by the Mustangs working in is Audi. Audi will send it in on net. That is blocked. I believe that was by in the skates of Jermaine. Jermaine now will send it all the way back in. Goes beyond the reach and controlled by the Mustangs. 
by Blakewell. Blakewell. Now we'll send it over to Katsarov. Katsarov, long pass up to Kamada. Kamada circling back behind the net to Buckley as Stony Brook will gather up possession. Here is Groenman. Groenman. Now we'll send it up as working back. Here comes the Seawolves. Puck now poked back aside as, seat, as Stony Brook setting up the play. We'll send it back to Dan Mallon. Earlier today, this very same Stony Brook team upset a, a higher seeded team in UMass. They're in conference foe for the first time in five games. Puck now controlling it is Stony Brook. Stony Brook now the puck poked right aside into the corner. Controlling it is Wally. Wally being pressed off the puck by Blakewell. Now picked up by the Mustangs. Working back in with it is Katsarov. Katsarov sent it in on net. Sticked aside by Buckley into the corner. Katsarov. Gathers up possession. Now we'll send it back into his own zone where it's picked up by Daniel Kumada. Kumada. We'll backhand it over now to Stom. Stom. Now we'll send it through the crease area into the right wing corner. Puck. Now sent in on net. That is blocker to side by Buckley, but still controlled by Cal Poly as they will send it back into their own zone. 6.45 to go here in the first. one nothing is still your score. Puck now picked up. Cal Poly working in with it is Kumada. Kumada, puck stolen away. Here is Stony Brook. Pass up as a puck. Took an odd, odd bounce off a, off a floor tile. Now picked up again. Here comes Cal Poly. Crossing center. Here is Blakewell. Blakewell sent it in on net. That is covered up by Rory Buckley for the stoppage and play with 6.08 to go here. In the first, still one nothing. your score. Big game coming, big day tomorrow, day two of five. Another 34 games on the slate, 17 games on both rinks. And we'll feature four divisions. The final division to, to begin play will be the junior college division playing a double round robin tournament with the top two teams going to the championship game Sunday morning at 11 a.m. over on Mission. That begins Friday afternoon. Joukowsky, check that heart. Now we'll backhand it across. Now back up to Kellmeyer. Kellmeyer. Now we'll work it back. Now, Joe Grispin cycling through. We'll actually send it over to Jermaine. Check that Talka. Talka now working in. We'll send it up, and it's stolen away by the Mustangs. We are past the halfway point here of the first. one nothing. your score. Puck sent back around with his Jake Stom. Stom now being pressured by Talka. We'll send it up to Blakewell. Blakewell crossing center. And sent back across over to Leon. Leon will send it in. That is now deflected into the corner. 4.45 to go here as the puck is stolen away. 
Here comes Grispin. Grispin looking for an outlet. Now we'll be doing battle right below our broadcast position. Right here in the corner. The Mustangs with possession. Send it deeper into the Stony Brook end. As the puck is now stolen away by Stony Brook, with it is Annunziato. Annunziato crossing center. Send it in on net. That is blocker to side, still controlled by Stony Brook, with it is Schlegel. Schlegel will send it back into his own zone to Leglissi. Leglissi in possession. Now. Working in, will send a shot ringed off the post and out as we will have a stoppage in play here with 3.49 to go. May have ticked the netting on his way out. It will be a... The, the two refs are talking. They're saying it may have been a goal. They're, they're, they're messing with the net down here in this corner. Not quite sure what to think going on here. One ref is saying it went through the net. Heated discussion. There is a hole big enough for a puck to go through. And they are going to roll in a goal for Stony Brook. Getting credit for the goal. Should be Nicholas Annunziato. That was a bang bang play with with the referee making the decision, and, and now the goaltender is saying, "No, it didn't. It, it hit off the post. I I thought it hit off the post, but nonetheless, it is being ruled a goal." Crazy things happen in hockey tournaments, and that's just one of them. As we have a delay here. Yes, let's take a break and listen to a word from our friends at Bauer. As you can see there, as we are just now coming back, they are doing a little bit of net maintenance. We are waiting on some supplies. So while we do that, let, let's get you an updated after I get connected here on the inter the interwebs. So they are still working.
This is one of those situations in hockey that happen from time to time. Just to give everybody a refresher for those of you just joining us, there was a hard slapper that went through the top of the net and out. One ref ruled it not a goal. The other one saw it go through. They discussed for a good two or three minutes and finally made the final determination that it was indeed a good goal, and this game is tied up at one apiece. Off the faceoff, it is controlled by Stony Brook. Stony Brook getting a new wave of energy as that shot is gloved and held on to for the stoppage in play. 3.36 to go here in the first. 1-1 one, one is your score. Puck off the faceoff. It's picked up by Stony Brook. Stony Brook will send it in on net, and again that is covered up by Nicholas Lecox for the stoppage in play. Now with 3.30 to go. Low zone face off on the left wing side. Now picked up. Here is Blakewell. Blakewell loses an edge. Still controlling the puck. Somehow sends it up off the side dash. It's stolen away by Stony Brook. Stony Brook coming in with it is Gorgas. Gorgas will send it back in front of the net. Where it's picked up by Annunziato. Annunziato. Send it over to Schlegel. Schlegel send it in. Oh, almost tipped in on the wide open net. And we will have a penalty coming up here. An interference call with 3.04 to go here. And by the sounds of the groaning from the Stony Brook player, it is on Stony Brook's Annunziato. We will see the official call as we see who heads to the penalty box. So we will have coincidentals here. So we will play four on four. Penalties will be over at 104 plus a whistle. So we had an interference call and most likely an unsportsmanlike conduct call with some language that was down on the rink. Even though this is sports. Puck. Now picked up, Gorgas will send it wide of the net into the corner. They do try to keep, keep it somewhat family friendly for those of you who may be watching our broadcast tonight. Thank you so much. Working back across, here comes Cal Poly. Cal Poly will send it through now. And that goes back and picked up by Cal Poly. Circling back towards center. Now we'll send it deeper into the Stony Brook end. On the far end as you are from our broadcast position. We are broadcasting live from, the, from Bill Gray's Regional Iceplex. Here we are on the bow rink. Cal Poly tried to send a point blank shot in but that was blocker to side rebound goes through the crease nobody home to tip it in with two minutes to go less than a minute remaining of the coincidentals it'll be over at 104 plus a whistle as a shot from Cal Poly it is blocker to side rebound picked up by Stony Brook Stony Brook working in splits a Cal Poly defender off the crossbar off the inboard glass now being battled for back behind the net Wally and Christopher Audi doing battle as that battle now continues along the right wing side. Now picked up by Dan Mallon for Stony Brook. Mallon will send it just wide of the net. Picked up now by Cal Poly. Big hit laid on to Groenman from Alex Waddell. Stolen away. Here comes Stony Brook in between two Mustangs as Cox. Gets just enough of that to uh, block it aside. At the next stoppage in play, as Wally will send it through the crease, the offending players will be out of the penalty box. As we are under a minute to go here in the first, 1-1 is your score. 
Puck now stolen back away. Controlling it. Here is Talka. Talka will have it turned over. Now picked up by Cal Poly with this Kamada. Kamada will send it in on net. Poked aside by Buckley with 30 seconds to go here in the first. Puck now sent back, and it is ruled a goal. Rory Buckley is saying that the net was dislodged. The referee on the rink did rule it a goal as they will now discuss the call yet again. Here comes the replay right here. Coming in as the puck now being backhanded in through the crease. The puck is, oh, it goes in just about the same time as the net comes off its position. The referee on the far end ruled it a goal. Buckley is saying, no, sir, no, sir. That was not a goal. The net was out of position. That was very close. As yet again, we have another controversial goal, potential goal call here. As it will be, the goal will be awarded. As this is one of those games where the pace is extremely slow. Two to one is your score. Cal Poly now over Stony Brook. Off the face off, it is controlled by the Mustangs. Cal Poly crossing center. Send it back. Now sent in on net. That is blocked aside with 10 seconds to go. Cal Poly trying to get something going here. Now picked up by Stom. Stom, puck now picked up. Stony Brook will send it back in, and that will do it for the first period of play. Through one, Cal Poly leads Stony Brook by a score of 2-1. to one. Back right after this, after these words from our sponsors. The NCRHA would like to thank the following sponsors for their support of the 2019 National Collegiate Roller Hockey Championships. Mission Hockey and Bauer Hockey, the Rochester Convention and Visitors Bureau. Find out more at visitrochester.com. Inline Warehouse, Unify Gameware, Blue Frame Technology, the CJ Sports Network. You are listening to the 2019 National Collegiate Roller Hockey Championships presented by Mission Hockey and Bauer Hockey. Welcome back to the 2019 National Collegiate Roller Hockey Championships. Two to one is your score as we come back and we look at this, the last Cal Poly goal. You see here as the net and the puck almost simultaneously reach upon further review from our slow-mo activity here. You can see here comes the shot spin. Now the shot comes in. Stony Brook player goes into the post. Net comes out. Ref rules it a goal. They discuss the end result is a goal, even though it is a very controversial call and a very controversial set of goal calls right here on Bauer to begin the third, the first of the three final games over here on the Bauer rink. But that's what you get sometimes in hockey. You get some controversy. You get some good calls. I'm not saying that was a bad call, but it was inconclusive on my, uh, in my humble opinion. Puck now picked up by Cal Poly. Cal Poly now coming towards you as you're watching this broadcast or listening, however you may be. Stony Brook going left to right. Puck now controlled by Cal Poly. Cal Poly now will send it up. 
Circling back in their own zone. I want to thank our uh, newfound friends at Blue Frame Technology for pro providing video coverage for us this year. Extremely pleased with the results. Instant replay, phenomenal. Puck. Now picked up here, right in front of the net as Buckley covers it up for the stoppage in play with 10.29 to go. The team here is headed up by Sydney and Kaiser. Intern Cam doing a phenomenal job here and a wonderful crew of camera operators they have scrounged up for us. Puck now dropped, and it is controlled by Cal Poly, but stolen away by Stony Brook. Stony Brook now coming in almost on the breakaway. Now we'll send it through the crease. Nobody home as Cal Poly picks up possession in the right-wing corner. Cal Poly setting up possession. Now working back in. Cal Poly loses possession. We will have a penalty coming up here on the Mustangs as the puck will be touched, so the penalty will be assessed. Hooking will be the call. It will be assessed to, same, to Sam Blakewell. He disagrees, but the call stands. So hooking the call, 9.57 to go here. In the second, two to one is your score. This is one of those games, as mentioned earlier. Been a weird one as pace of play. As the puck is dropped in the left wing face off circle. Cleared out by Cal Poly back into the Stony Brook end, picked up by Rory Buckley. Buckley, long pass up to center. Picked up by Gorgas. Gorgas working in along the right wing side. Now we'll send it up to Kellmeyer. Kellmeyer now winds up and sends a shot that is gloved and held on to for the stoppage in play. Battle Cox with 9.34 to go here. In the second, 137 left on the power play. Nine and a half to go. Puck now picked up, controlled now to Kellmeyer. Kellmeyer now over to Gorgas. Gorgas working in, sight, and that is a blocker to side. Gorgas again winds up, sends a shot off the crossbar into the netting for the stoppage in play with 9.15 to go on the power play, or 9.15 here in the second, 1.18 remaining on the power play. Puck will be dropped. As Sir Adamo Steo getting ready for the next broadcast. That's Adam Steo. Now picked up. Mallon over to Kelmeyer. Kelmeyer working in as the puck. Goes through the crease, another shot that is blocked by a body of a Cal Poly player. 45 seconds to go on the power play. Another penalty coming up here. It will be on Stony Brook, so we will be three on three for 41 seconds. And then we will have a one minute 19 power play for Cal Poly. Interference will be the call. So three on three for 41 seconds. As the faceoff rolls all the way back into the Stony Brook end in the left wing faceoff circle to the right of Rory Buckley. Puck dropped. Now pick back up. Controlling it is Cal Poly with it back in their own zone. Back across. Now with it is Blakewell. Blakewell will send it over now to Kamada. Kamada as the puck is stolen away. Here comes as a puck. Stone way there at center. Here comes.
Cal Poly momentarily, but stolen right back by Stony Brook is Nicholas Schlegel. Schlegel, long pass over, now picked up by Gorgas. He will send it just wide of the net. Ten seconds left of the pow of the three on three. Eight minutes left here in the second. Now Cal Poly on the power play for a minute and 15 seconds. Cal Poly. Now we'll send up the side dashers. Now back out to the point where it is controlled by Kamada. Kamada over to Blakewell. Now back to Kamada. Kamada whiffs on a pass. Now picked up. But stolen right back by Kamada, who pokes it into the corner like it's like he's playing pool. Now Kamada winds up, sends a shot that is deflected up into the netting above the glass for the stoppage in play. 7.21 to go here in the second, 42 seconds remaining on the power play. Cal Poly is leading this in this Division II pool play game by a score of 2-1. to one. Low zone faceoff. That is controlled by Cal Poly, still on the power play for another 36 seconds. Cal Poly, now back out to Kamada. Now working across as the puck goes knuckleball end over end. That's gloved and held on to by Rory for the stoppage in play with 7.04 to go here in the second, 26 seconds remaining on the man advantage for Cal Poly. Puck now sent back out, covered by Kumada. Kumada. Now we'll send it in as Leglissi will clear all the way back into the Mustang end. Ten seconds left on the man advantage. Last opportunity for the Mustangs. Send it across with it is Blakewell. Blakewell will send it up, and that is deflected up into the netting above the glass. With two seconds left on the man advantage. 6.39 to go here in the second. Puck dropped, now sent back, still controlled as we're now back to even strength hockey here. Two to one is still your score as we're approaching the, approaching the halfway point in regulation and of the second period of play. Here comes Cal Poly, will send a shot in on net. Seeing eye gloved and it's covered up for the stoppage by Rory Bluckley with 6.17 to go here in the second. Low zone face off on the left wing side. Kelmeyer in for Stony Brook. In the battle of the 17s as Alex Chapel is in for Cal Poly. Cal Poly working right in front of the net. Loses his edge. Now will backhand it across is Kumada. Picked up. Back through as that shot goes just wide of the net. Wally with possession. And now send it up across center where it's picked up by Michael Talka. Talka now over Kelmeyer. Kelmeyer will send it just wide of the net. Rebound picked up by Chapel for Cal Poly. But stolen away there deep in the Cal Poly end as that is sent up high in the air. And puck drops down and picked up by Cal Poly. Cal Poly, sensing pressure, now goes back in. That also allows them time for a change. That's a puck, now working back in. Here comes Cal Poly, back in it in as that shot is kicked aside by Buckley. Jermaine for Stony Brook, and I believe that was Jake Stom. No, that was uh, John Leon doing battle. Here comes Kelmeyer in to the Cal Poly end. Kelmeyer will send it wide of the net into the corner. 4.45 to go here in the second. Two to one is your score. Puck now sent along the side dashers. 
on the far left wing side. Has a puck. So now sent back in here with four and a half minutes to go. It is controlled by Cal Poly. Cal Poly will send it up with it is Katsarov. Katsarov now sitting up play back behind the net. Cal Poly looking for an outlet, being pressured momentarily by Schlegel. Now sent up. Here comes Cal Poly working back into the Stony Brook end. Pressure applied heavily by Stony Brook forces Katsarov to circle back in his own zone. So circling through back. Still stifling pressure here applied by Stony Brook. Stony Brook and Cal Poly. Puck now sent across shot. Walked to the top. Puck still loose out in front. Puck bouncing. Could not get a good handle on it. Passing attempt. That's blocked by the body of Jermaine. As they're doing battle beneath our broadcast position. Puck now bouncing back out where it is controlled by Katsarov. Katsarov. We'll send it around. And is picked up by Stony Brook. Stony Brook. Now we'll send it up. Picked up by Jermaine, but stolen away at center by Cal Poly. Penalty will be coming up here. It will be on Jermaine for Stony Brook. Second power play opportunity. For Cal Poly coming up here momentarily as Jermaine takes his seat in the send bin. Tripping is the call. 2.55 to go in the faceoff. Rolling back into the Stony Brook Inn on the right wing side. Puck dropped. Now picked up. Here's... Cal Poly, Cal Poly, was in the puck bouncing in towards the net. And now that is sent back up. Cal Poly wants, that shot goes just wide of the net, settles on the back of the net. Puck now bouncing, controlled by Cal Poly. Cal Poly back out to the point, picked up by Kamada. Kamada over to Blakewell, over to Kamada. Kamada will send the puck Bouncing like a sing-along song, controlled and cleared. Took a strange bounce off the side dash or glass. Now picked up by Dan Mallon. Mallon will send it across, but Cal Poly picks it up with it is Blakewell. 1.15 to go on the power play. 2.08 to go here in the second. Shot gets deflected just wide, just goes beyond the face of the referee here in the right wing corner. I mean, just missed it by about six inches. Now, Cal Poly with possession here is Blakewell. Blakewell now back out to the point and working back in. Try to go through the skates of Smith as Smith will send it up to Mallon now with 45 seconds left on the power play. 90 seconds to go here in the second. Two to one, Cal Poly over Stony Brook. Two controversial goal calls here so far in this game. Benefiting both Stony Brook and Cal Poly. Puck coming in will send a shot. Shoulder to side. 20 seconds left here on the power play. Cal Poly. Now send it up another shot. Sent in to the top of the net. And that is a goal scored by Cal Poly. Scoring that should be Jack Pavic. 107 to go. Power play goal there. One for two on the power play. It is now three to one. Cal Poly over Stony Brook in this Division II pool play game. Puck will be dropped at center here momentarily as we see the replay coming in. You see Cal Poly there now up to the point and a give and go shot on the top shelf. That is Jack Pavic with the goal. So back at even strength hockey here with the final minute of play here in the second. Cal Poly, fresh off that goal, controls possession of the puck. Now send it up to side dashers and picked up with it is Chapel. Chapel. 
Watson it bouncing up alongside where it's picked up by Christopher Audi. Audi will now send it back. Puck still loose out in front, and that is eventually picked up by Stony Brook. Stony Brook now coming in. Two on one on the left wing side. Now to the right wing side as the puck poked aside by good defensive play by Cal Poly right there. Cal Poly with possession. 20 seconds to go here in the second. Cal Poly settling in. Back behind the net of Lecox. Now Cal Poly, long pass up the side dashers. Sent back aside Grispin. Now doing battle. Last second shot is, is easily deflected aside by Rory Buckley. And that will do it for the second period of play. Through two, Cal Poly leads Stony Brook by a score of 3-1 to one in this Division II pool play game. Now a word from our friends at Bauer. And welcome back in. Just about to get the final regulation period of this game underway. Adam Steele will be coming up next right here on the Bauer rink for the penultimate game here of day one on Bauer. Final game scheduled face-off of 11.45 with the pace of this game. And a regular pace game, the next one, looking more like a start time of roughly 11.55 to 12.05, my guesstimate at this time. And then we're back at it again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. in the east. Puck now picked up, sit back through. Now with possession, here is Cal Poly. Cal Poly, as puck is stolen away, picked up by Stony Brook now with it is Groenman. Groenman will send it up, now it's stolen away by Cal Poly. Cal Poly coming in, shot, oh, what an almost beautiful goal there, but went to the, just a little too far on the near side of the net to allow any goal to be scored. Puck now picked up. Here's Stony Brook, but stolen away by Cal Poly. Cal Poly controlling it. Here is Kumada. Kumada now at the point. We'll send it all the way back into their own zone. Cox goes out to get possession after being heavily pressured by Gorgas, and it is stolen away at center by Stony Brook. Stony Brook. Now over to Gorgas. Gorgas will send it in on net. That is sticked aside into the corner. Picked up by Groenman. Groenman, not back across. And that rings off the post. And out, rebound picked up by Gorgas. Stony Brook trailing by two in this Division II pool play game. Here. It's Stony Brook as that puck is stolen away. Here comes Cal Poly working back with it. Blakewell. Blakewell will send it in on net. And that's gloved and held on to for the stoppage of play with 10.04 to go here. In regulation, 3 to 1 is your score. Heading for a low zone faceoff on the right wing side. As the puck 
is now dropped. As play is back underway here. Cal Poly winning possession. Send it in on net blocker to side, and that rebound is loosed out of play with 9.50 to go here in regulation. 3-1 to one is your score. Overtime rolls are as follow here in pool play. Four minute, three on three, sudden overtime periods. If they're still tied after the end of that overtime period, we go to a shootout, a three round shootout, and then to a sudden death shootout after that. Once we get into bracket play starting on Friday morning, once the division clear all pool play games, it will be continuous 12-minute periods until somebody scores. And I can tell you from experience, that could take quite a bit of time. Puck now cleared back into the Cal Poly end, where it's picked up by Kumada. Kumada setting up the play. Long rolling pass, sent bouncing off the side dashers, picked up by Stony Brook. Now going to pick up possession with it is Sean Hart. Hart. Now sitting up play. Was in his own long pass. This time it connects with Anunziato. Now back out to the point, but is stolen away by Cal Poly. Cal Poly. Send it around the end boards, picked up by Jake Stom. Now over to Waddell. Waddell. Now back to Blakewell. That's Blakewell up to Kamada now. Kamada. We'll send it through the crease, and nobody home to pick it up. Now over to Blakewell. And it's bouncing across. 8.15 to go. Small line change occurring here. As Puck now picked up by Cal Poly, but stolen away by Stony Brook. Stony Brook moving right to left. Cal Poly left to right this period. Stony Brook controlling possession with it is Hart. Hart will send it over to Schlegel. Schlegel looking for an outlet, having been pressured applied by Leon, will now send it back behind Buckley and we'll set up the play yet again. 7.30 to go here in regulation. Three to one, Cal Poly. Puck. Controlling it. Now working back through as a sudden chill has encapsulated the broadcasting booth. Now sent over. Here comes Stony Brook. Sends a shot. Kicked aside. Rebound picked up by Cal Poly. Stony Brook with possession. Picked up now by Wally. To Anunziato. Anunziato will send a point blank shot. That is blocker to side. And that is sent over. Now, working back up here, Stony Brook. Stony Brook trailing by two. Both teams, the beneficiary of controversial calls here in this contest. Wally. It's in a backhanded shot. That is a stick to side by Lacox. As Tony Brook will send it in and again kick the side into the left wing corner. UMass is massing down below us, getting ready for the next game. Oh, they just got done with their game over on mission. Now here comes Stony Brook. 
Stony Brook. Working through now, we're, we're just past the halfway point here of the final regulation period of this contest. Here comes Cal Poly. Cal Poly will send it in. That is kicked aside at the last moment by Rory Buckley. Now sent back, picked up by Cal Poly. With it is Blakewell. Blakewell, long pass up, tape to tape to Cal Poly. Cal Poly player taking down one in a penalty to call there. None was given. As here comes Cal Poly. We'll send it in. That is deflected by their own player's stick just wide. Now four and a half to go. Here comes Stony Brook working back into the Cal Poly end. Now stolen away off a good screen there by Cal Poly. Christopher Audi. Over now to Katsaroff. Katsaroff coming in. Send a puck in, and that is blocked up out in front of the net, picked up by Stony Brook. Stony Brook taken down. That's Cal Poly. Big hit laid on right behind the Cox. Now Cal Poly looking for an outlet. We'll send it right past Wally and picked up by Katsroff. Katsroff. We'll send it over to the left wing side. Puck sent in. As that is sent in on net. The referee waved off the goal. Because he saw it clearly not go in. It got stuck under the pads. Kapali wanted a goal. Make that controversial play number three in the game. Puck now picked up. Here comes Stony Brook. Stony Brook with new life and still with a fighting chance here in this game with 3.35 to go here in regulation. Only trail by two, got plenty of time to come back. Cal Poly. Looking to further seal the door on this game. Working back in with it is Waddell. Waddell, send it wide. Puck now out. Shot blocker to side by the top of the helmet by Rory Buckley. Talk about a heads up play there by Buckley. Stony Brook coming in. Shot up over the net. Now picked up with it. Here is Cal Poly. Now, sent back into their own end. Cal Poly picking up possession. Here is Jack Pavic. Pavic being pressured, sent hard into the boards. Puck squirts up, but stolen right away by Stony Brook. Stony Brook, another shot. Puck loose out in front. Poked aside by LeCox. Good job by him. And we will ha and a little kerfuffle started to break out with Leglissi. And Pavic, meanwhile, Stony Brook with possession, working back in. Now, we'll send it across. 2.15 to go here in regulation. We're, we're keeping an eye on Rory Buckley as Stony Brook will send it just wide. Will the coaching staff for Stony Brook decide to pull him in favor of the extra skater? Only time will tell, down by two. That will be a perfect opportunity for that to happen once Stony Brook gets possession back in the Cal Poly end. Here comes Cal Poly. It's in the end on that. Pucks to loose out in front, and that shot, and a goal scored by Cal Poly. 1.45 to go in regulation. That could almost sew this game away for the Mustangs, but still got 105 seconds to go. They now lead 4-1. Ready. As we have the replay right here, coming in puck is loosed out in front, and coming in is the 21 of John Leon, picking up the garbage a la Mighty Ducks and putting the biscuit in the basket. Here's Stony Brook working back into the Cal Poly end. Now down by three. Desperation time really starting to sit in 
by the Seawolves. Has a backhanded shot. Glove to side rebound. Skinner just wide of the net. 1.15 to go here. Picked up by Annunziato. Calpoli gathers up possession. Now working back in. Calpoli will send it across. Where it's picked up by Katsarov. Katsarov. Now we'll send it up. As we are under a minute to go here in this game. Puck coming in. Backhanded shot is covered up for the stoppage in play. 47.2 seconds to go. As Cal Pollock cannot believe it, they thought that was another goal that should have counted in their favor. Low zone face off, right wing side. Shot off the face off. He gets blocked back. Another funny bounce off one of the tiles here. It is opening day here in the 2019 National Collegiate Roller Hockey Championships presented by Mission Hockey and Bauer Hockey. That's Cal Poly in full control of this game as time winds down here in this contest. This pool has just got a lot more convoluted now. Depending on the outcome of the UMass game, which took place over on the mission rink. Puck now picked up. Stony Brook coming in will send a shot that's gloved as dropped as time will be allowed to expire. Your final for this game, Cal Poly beat Stony Brook by a score of four. So UMass beat Kennesaw. Five to three. So that means Cal Poly is one and one. Stony Brook is one and one. UMass is one and one. And Kennesaw State is 0 oh and two. So this pool is really complicated now. Good luck with trying to go through the tiebreakers. Your final for this contest, four to one. Adam Steo on the call next, right after this. This game has been brought to you by Mission Hockey, Bauer Hockey, the Rochester Convention and Visitors Bureau, Inline Warehouse, Unify Gameware, Blue Frame Technology, and the CJ Sports Network. This copyrighted broadcast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of the National Collegiate Roller Hockey Association. The NCRHA would like to...